Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me for this very special first look video of Age of Wonders Planetfall. It is by Triumph Studios and Paradox Interactive. And a big shout out to Triumph Studios and Paradox Interactive for allowing me to take part in this like way ahead of time advanced look at the game. It's going to be releasing on August 6th, 2019. And there's going to be a whole bunch of streams and stuff going on over the next few days. And I'm going to start my live streaming today at 9 a.m. Eastern. So if you guys want to come and join me, I will be streaming for at least a couple of hours, possibly a little bit more than that. And just going to be having some fun. So I'm going to start like a fresh scenario and all that stuff. But I wanted to hop in, play around with it a little bit, give you guys a first look video. As soon as I'm able to post the video, I shall do so. And you guys will get your kind of first taste of the game. So... Without any further ado, we're going to run this back here, and we're going to see what the intro of this little scenario looks like, and then we're going to hop in the game, and we're going to play around for a little bit. And again, it's going to be a few hours down the line, but come join me at 9 a.m. Eastern on my Twitch stream, and I'm going to be playing some Age of Wonders Planetfall. Peace be upon you, Swarm Herald of the Unshackled Kirko. I do not know how your insectoid emotions work, but let me say that wrath and vengeance do not lead to salvation. The empire that enthralled your kind lies in ruins, while you have regained your freedom. Everything happens for a reason. Shape your own future and don't look back in anger. May your swarm bring light to this world. May it indeed. All right, so if we're taking a look here, we're going to planet scan of SoSo 66, and let's begin. We have made Wait for it, wait for it. Planetfall. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at uh, Cos Zix, I guess. I don't know, Cos Quicks? Something along those lines. And yeah, there we are, right in the middle of the uh, the planet. Wow, I wonder, does this go on like indefinitely? Well, it doesn't go any further north. Oh, we can just keep going, okay. It's not that far away, actually. Okay. Well, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so we hit some boundaries. Let's uh, let's hop on back in here. And there's a few different things that we need to be made aware of. First off, this is a neutral, like um, let's see how to explain it. It is a neutral faction. You're gonna be able to go over there. It's like indigenous things to this planet. And there's a very good chance that it wants to murder our faces. Or maybe it just wants to be diplomatic with us. Who knows? Who can say? But that is a thing that we will be able to do eventually. And on top of that, we have our army here, including our army commander, who I think can level up. Yeah, he can level up. You can change out the loadout of your characters. You can modify weapons. You can do all sorts of stuff like Focus Flames, Mantra of Clarity. Let's see here. What does this do? Uh, psionic attacks are empowered with flame, dealing thermal damage and have a 4 strength chance to apply burning. Psionic buff increased thermal resistance by 6. Only one focus may be active at a time. Additionally, this mod grants the unit 10% increased damage on all abilities. Um, okay. I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. Yeah, I'm going to confirm the loadout. We're going to use uh, 16 energy and 4, sorry, 8, 8 Cosmite. That's the uh, resources that we have there. And confirm that loadout. We're going to go here. We're going to use some skill points. We're going to go with ranged specialization 2. I'm going to get a little bit more HP, so health or vitality, if you will. Air commander. Eh. Frenzied assault. The unit's melee attacks give it frenzy. Eh. Fury of the swarm. Adjacent units with swarm shield gain 20% damage to all abilities. That sounds interesting. Let's go with that one. I'm going to confirm it. And there we go, we have leveled them up. So there's a lot of changes from Age of Wonders 3, but it's going to still feel very, very much like Age of Wonders 3. And I like the changes. The changes are really cool. A lot of stuff I've seen so far have been pretty awesome. And honestly, I, just, I can't wait to play this more. I can't wait till you guys are going to be able to grab the game and play it yourselves. I know Mutanad is looking to pre-order the game immediately. And he's going to be ready day one expecting to play. So there's going to be a lot of uh, coverage, a lot of just spending time playing this game. So hopefully you guys are down with it. Hopefully you like it. And again, another 
another serious, seriously, another thank you to Triumph Studios and Paradox Interactive for allowing me to showcase their game that's coming out. This is just, it's, it's really cool. All right, so some of the quick changes here I can give you guys. Uh, you no longer can just walk around and plop down towns wherever you want. You see how over here we have Writer's, Writer's Bluff, and over here Hannock's Falls, Hannock Falls. Down here, Blessed Hornlands, Falcon Bluff. There, all of these areas are broken up into like their own little provinces or territories. They have definitive borders, and whatever's inside that border, I think, is just tied to that territory. So if you see like specific buildings that give you buffs or benefits, that's gonna all be within that territory. Now, you cannot expand your territory out unless you take over these other districts, as they call them. And the way to do that is you send one of your units to these little flags in the middle of them. Those are like control points for the various different districts. And once you do that, you're able to actually capture that, claim that, add that to your town, and then you're able to upgrade that district to give your town a more of a benefit and grow your area of influence and your vision and all that stuff. So that's one of the major, major first, you know, at first glance differences that you see between Age of Wonders 3 and Age of Wonders Planetfall. Combat looks very similar. A lot of the same stuff is there, but they've added a few things to it, and I have to say I am a massive fan of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move here, and I'm going to move our little scouting guy over here as well. And I think I'm probably going to end up ending my turn, but let's see, what is the Dominion of Purification? Your mind and listen. Truth speaks with the quietest voice. Research complete. Ah, this is... Sorry. This is, uh, with the group that I chose, we start with two additional uh, researches already done. So there's one. Alright, so, if you guys recall the research in Age of... Well, let's do this here. Quick. If you want Area to improve your capabilities, you don't just set a goal, but you must also monitor it. Only by carefully watching your progression, guarding against backsliding, can you achieve solid success. Tony Rubio Strong, Manpower and Machine Motivational Consulting. All right, thank you, sir. All right, so, before, if you guys remember in Age of Wonders 3, you had various different researches. You were pretty much always doing those. And then you had, you know, your research stuff. I believe this is the research. This is knowledge. Income per turn, colony income, and this is essentially how you get to research lost technologies and things of that nature. If I'm not wrong, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But they did something that a lot of other games, they have, you know, a big tree where you can break out and do research and stuff like that. Or like, re unlock this thing, you have to have all these prerequisites and so on and so forth. This did a really cool thing that I really like, and one of the flaws of the other games in this genre, if you will... They have to, you kind of have to force yourself into doing things more of an aggressive way or a passive way, focus more on economy or building or military or whatever the case is. You get to research both, is it, is it social? Sorry, here. Research uh, facilities are still being set up. Okay, we can't do it yet. But you're able to research both like an economic side and a military side at the same time. So you're able to get two research going, two researches going at the same time. It's really cool. I like it a lot. I think it's a brilliant idea. Definitely one of the smarter things that I've seen. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pretty much uh, set our production here. Frenzied. Rending Claws. Battle Vomit. Oh, lovely. Battle Vomit. I think I'm going to go with uh, Structure Production. And I'm going to go with the Central Bio Farm. This can provide us food, which I think will allow us to eventually upgrade our our people. Food is used to grow the population of the colonies, yeah. So there you go. Alright, we're going to end our turn. An unknown commander. There's six other commanders that we're vying against right now. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so that's done, and I think immediately I am going to go with the specialist train... No, it's skirmisher barracks. That's going to be the one that's going to give us... Uh, a bit more oomph for what we're doing. So speaking of which, we're going to get in a bit closer here and we're going to go and we're going to do battle against these four guys. I don't know what they're going to bring to the table. I don't know how we're going to stack up against them. But we are going to attempt to do battle with them and hopefully succeed. So battle is exactly the way you remember it from the previous Age of Wonders games. There's a hex 
and then you're able to have an army here, an army here, 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 and here. So you can be surrounding them with six armies, or maybe they have an army that's here and here, and you have an army that's here, here, and here, then you'd fight them plus the other two. So essentially, whatever is being attacked, every hex around them are being pulled into combat at the same time. So yeah, it's interesting. So if we take a look, it's a slightly inferior enemy force, our 815 versus their 480, so it should be an interesting battle. Let's go ahead and go into manual combat and see what happens. All right, so the independents are moving first. And they just basically walked up a little bit. Didn't do too, too much. So if we take a look over here, we can click on them. We can see, like, that's how far he moved. And he's doing, like, a melee overwatch, I think. So to be a little bit cautious, we can see how far out this guy can move. And we can see how far out this one can move as well. It's less defined than it used to be. It used to be a lot more noticeable. I'm hoping that... I'm hoping that it, they won't feel like it takes away from the game. And they'll actually up the visibility of like the movement range and stuff like that. Because right now it's quite subdued. I don't know if it's a setting that I can change or what the case is. But again, you see here, this is where like the... As far as you can move. Alright, so what do we have? We have Claws and Battle Vomit. Super fun. These guys are not as cool as some of the other dudes that I've already tried playing, but that's okay. That's alright. We're gonna go over here. Now this guy, this guy's got some potential. Now I can't quite fire far enough to hit him, but I can go ahead and overwatch. The fact that they've added an overwatch into the game makes me happy beyond measure. It's something that I feel like they should have had all along, and the fact that they have it now... Like I said, I'm super, super stoked about it. I think I'm going to move here. I don't have Overwatch with him. I don't have Overwatch with our flappy bug things either. We get our flappy, our other flappy bug thing over here. Let's see how that goes. Some more battle vomit. Okay, Swarm Shield is activated. So I guess if we're close to one another, we activate our Swarm Shield. Alright. I think that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and end the turn and see what the enemy decides they're going to do. They're going to waddle on forward. The weird lizard raptor Operation monster ready. is just sitting there. I'm going to flap our way over here. And I think I'm probably just going to scoot up a little bit here and put ourselves into a hopefully favorable position. A lot of things aren't moving at this point, so we'll have to see. Alright, so they're taking a shot. They missed their magma spit. Here comes this creature who just got shot with our Psy Rifle. And it looks like it's about time for us to do something. But we don't have magic like we used to, but we do have special operations that we can launch. We have the Cleansing Pulse. I don't know what it does. It spells all negative status effects on every friendly unit. Not super useful. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by that. What does this do? Soul Spear. Alright, I'm gonna try it. 60% chance. We oh, but we hit him on the follow-up. Alright, can we get him with the, with the Baby Vomit? It's battle vomit, man! I told you! You did. Alright. Step up. I'm gonna try to get some battle vomit again. Enemy destroyed. Down he goes. Alright, and then you... Try to step. What do we have? Sight rifle snapshot. Eh. Sight rifle. We're gonna take a shot at... Wow, there's such such terrible, terrible chances to hit anything. Well, I guess we're gonna go with the higher one. Very underwhelming. Not gonna lie. I guess we can end the turn, but. Yeah, we'll move 
move there. That's probably fine. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's see what they got to bring to bear. They're gonna charge up and try to slap us a point blank. And it, it hurt a little bit. Not gonna lie. It was an unenjoyable experience, to be sure. Ooh, we're getting chain discharged. I don't like that. Burning us. That's ungood. such a bad ch chance to hit this guy. I feel like we should be demolishing him. Oh, we did hit him at least. Alright, gonna move here. Gonna go with the baby vomit. Gonna move here. Gonna go with the baby vomit. There it is. Enemy killed. Took him down with the baby vomit of doom. You know, claws out. Enemy annihilated. All right, next up. We'll move up here. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, I guess we'll move there and we'll defend. Hmm. Move there and defend. You guys to move over here for some reason. It's probably fine. Uh, I guess that's everything. Ooh, people are still burning. Some more of the static chain attacks. Folks are flanked and they're getting slapped around. They're not enjoying it. All right, big hit. Worked out pretty good. Try for the 45, we missed. Not surprising. Truth be told. Did they die? Did we lose someone? I feel like they didn't die. So I'm going Units in here. with melee attacks will enter melee overwatch at the end of their turn, denoted by a red sword icon above their heads. While this unit is in melee overwatch, they will use their primary melee ability against any enemy unit that moves through their threatened area or uses an ability adjacent to them. Melee overwatch can only trigger once per turn, and if the unit is staggered, the overwatch is canceled. Enemy destroyed! We did it! We're heroes! Our forces are victorious! Victory! Yeah. Felt good. It looks like none of our guys died, so I'll take it. All right, we got uh, the research station was explored, and we got 43 knowledge, which is going to go a long way to, well, getting us what we need. Well, I say that, but, like, unless it's, like, extra stored stuff, we just wasted it, which is possible. All right, so we're going to go check out the society first. So we have doctrine, economy, and operations. I believe we can choose any of them that we want. Something should have already been chosen. Did we already get this one? I feel like that's not true. We already got area surveillance. That's the one that we got. Alright, so, what do we get out of this? Uh, recreational drone. Standard military infrastructure. Sure, let's go with that. Research that, and we're gonna go over here to the military side of things. And... Huh. Foreboding darkness. I think we got the Dominion of Pur Purification already. Which is pretty cool. We get a Dominion of Affliction. There's a lot of different things we can do here. But instead we're going to get the... Hmm. I guess Embrace Darkness, maybe? I will research that out. There are orders to be given. Our places are building up all the stuff that we want them to build, I think. Maybe not. I'm not entirely... Oh, yeah, it's over here. So the central bio farm is almost done. Then we're going to be going down to the queued uh, military skirmish barracks. It's good stuff all around. It's compelling and it's rich. All right, so we're going to explore out with our little floaty bug scout type guy. 
And we're pretty much about out of time for this episode, but, you know, I feel like we've accomplished a fair bit. Alright, we can found a Kirko colony. But we seem to be missing something for that. Yeah, we don't have the colonizer unit. We can annex a sector for a province of Cosquick. Um, we are missing something there. Sector limit reached needs one more colonist before it can add to the sector. So we're not even ready for that yet, so we have to continue to build our town before we can break out and stretch out our influence to further and further away places. The battle was a bit rough. We got slapped around a bit, but we're, we're okay in the long run. We're going to end our turn. We're going to see what the next turn brings. And then we're going to probably break off this first look episode. Now, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I won't be doing like a, a series of first look episodes. I might, if they allow us to showcase the game a little bit right before release. I might do like a little mini series, kind of like I did with Age of Wonders 3. However, I will be live streaming. I'm just letting you guys know once again. It'll be at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on May 16th, 2019. So, I don't know if it's standard time, eastern time, whatever the time is now. I don't know if it's summertime or standard or whatever it is. Anyway, 9 a.m. Eastern, that's when I'm going to be streaming. You guys can join me on Twitch and check out the game, have fun, uh, interact, let me know stuff. Hopefully, uh, maybe the developers and stuff will pop in. I don't know what their plans are exactly. But they did mention wanting to like cross-promote the various different streams and all, all the cool stuff like that. So, I'm looking forward to it. I really can't wait to see what goes down. This is just, it's been a lot of fun. I'm i am absolutely over the moon being able to be part of this. What's that thing? Visit sites are remnants of the Star Union that give a visiting army a boost. This can either be an instant effect or an effect that lasts until the end of the unit's next combat. Huh. Visit sites also provide minor economic benefits when their sector is annexed to the colony. That's a teleporter. Can you show the destination? Oh, way over there. Like, I'm okay with going there. Teleport. Get me out in the middle of... Oh, dear lord, what is that thing? We are near a Tiraber settlement. And that is a large army that looks like it really wants me to not be alive anymore. We'll see how that goes here in a second. Here, I'm going to scoot up over this way, see what's over here. Another little bug army. I mean, we could probably play around with it, but... Eh. Well, we'll save we'll save a lot more of the combat and stuff for the the live stream because we're gonna be getting into a lot of fights. Oh, it can now annex the first sector. Oh, boo! I just walked away from the thing. All right, so we're gonna have to go back and do that. Just send an army to an adjacent. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm all over it. Going back to Hannock Falls, and we're annexing the sector. Take one turn for that to happen. And we got a message from the Psy Fish faction. Renegades, hostile souls, violent red. Must be put down, eradicated. Do this. Reward awaits. Zero out of four units slain. Um, sure. It's an ancient species of psionically powered creatures. Originating from the void, they acquire knowledge by extracting and consuming the brains out of other organisms. Organisms. It's fine. Oh. I guess we're just gonna go and flap around. We can go over water because we're flying. It's great. This is this is good. I like this. Well, let's just, again, take a, a appreciative look over here at what's going down. Because, you know, we can do that. We have this kind of big overview map, which is sweet, sweet, nice styles with a Z. And I don't know that we necessarily need this anymore. It grants an additional five knowledge when in the in a research exploitation. Oh, cool. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set the production here. And I guess we're gonna go with that. And then we're gonna end the turn. And then we're going to probably get this to see it's attached now. Now if we go here. We can go to Hannock Falls and we can upgrade the sector. If we go to upgrade the sector, we can choose what we want to augment or upgrade or make better in our main town. So I kind of want to go with the with the research here because we're going to get that bonus for having that building and it's going to be just really, really nice for us. So it's what it also recommended, so I am all for that. Foreboding darkness. Okay, Open so we... their wounds, 
Fix their pleas on vengeance. Call light darkness. Blind their eyes with injustice. Eclipse the sun. Deny it purpose. Choke out their hopes with ashes of despair. They disbelieve daylight. Gloom is their haven. Jivori of House Ardeli. Hmm. Fun times. Alright, so we did the foreboding darkness. Let's go ahead and get the uh, initiation into agony. So we'll get an initiate there. And then, of course, you know, the frontier facilities are done Our as well. Our colonies require the means to protect themselves and a reason to stay. At the very least, it's time to invest in some good old-fashioned guns and beer. Dollar Smith, Deneb Colony Mayor. Cool. All right, so we did that. Nurturing. Um, I guess research development. Maybe we'll just go down that route for right now. I don't know. That seems probably legit. I'm not sure. All right, so we have a hidden which I guess has sniper-type tendencies. The skirmisher, we have the colonizers, we have an unleashed. I'm not sure what the one means, though. I haven't quite figured that out. Maybe that's all that's available. I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get... I might... I might get the hidden. I think I am. I'm going to get one of the hidden. That's going to be on my to-do list. And ops ready to prime to operations available for priming. Oh, deploy monitor. Uh, monitoring station appears on the targeted hex. The station provides the casting player with vision for six hexes and sensor coverage for twelve hexes. The station is concealed and can only be detected by other players with detection or if they move adjacent to it. Monitoring stations are not marked as belonging to a particular player and can be destroyed by other players without triggering war. Well, that's useful. And then Native Threat Locator. Reveals the location of the nearest unexplored hostile spawner to the target colony. Oh, that's really cool. Um, I think I'm going to go with the display monitor. I'm going to prime it right now. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for this first look video. I, again, will be live streaming 9 a.m. Eastern. Check it out. May 16th, 2019. I will also be streaming the probably later that night and the next couple days as well. So stay tuned to the channel for more coverage of Age of Wonders Planetfall. I will be posting the live streams onto YouTube shortly after I do them. So check that out, guys and gals. I'm super stoked. I'm really excited. Can't wait to play more. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video as it always is in various links and things of that nature. I highly recommend you guys grab this game on release or pre-order it. Just play it. It's going to be good. If it's anything like, and it is very much like, Age of Wonders 3 with a lot of cool, new, awesome things, I'm stoked. I can't wait to get into it deeper. And, yeah, that's it. That's my spiel, guys and gals. Until the very next First Look video series, the live stream, whatever it is that you come to the Freak Show to see and to partake in and to enjoy, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thanks for being awesome. And I'll see you later.